eight, nine, ten, a machine here. There you go. Nobody works like David in this house. Thirteen. Come on. Fourteen. Come on. Get it. They don't know me, son. Get it. They don't know me, son. People get in this mentality and in this routine of staying where they are, being comfortable, doing what they normally do, because everything else to change it would would require some sort of temporary, uncomfortable situation for them. When you stay in the comfort zone and you avoid doing the temporary, and the key word is temporary, uncomfortable things, you end up in a situation that is ultimately more uncomfortable. Every time you avoid the gym because it's hard and you don't want to sweat and you don't want to do the work, you're taking a step towards a more uncomfortable life. Every time in your career, in your job, in your business that you decide to take off early or put off till tomorrow Every time you do that to present yourself with a more comfortable situation now, you are putting yourself in a situation that is ultimately going to make you more uncomfortable later. So quit doing what's comfortable now and start doing what's going to make you comfortable later. I'd rather you hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. A lot of us are full of shit. I was one of those people back in the fucking day. And sometimes I'm still full of shit. We think that we're working our ass off, working hard. You know, we've been working out hard in the gym for a month. But we haven't seen any results. So we get off and down and poopy pants and shit. You study for 30 minutes for a test. And you didn't do as well as you thought. What the fuck did you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. You got to stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm not working everybody. I'm doing more. It's not until then, once you get there, that's when you know you've done enough. Life's about improvise, adapt, and overcome in every situation that's in front of you. A lot of people hate that message. That I say continue pushing, continue finding your new 100%, continue finding your best self. If you don't like that message, this is not the place to be. I'm about people trying to find the best they have, not making excuses, overcoming any and all obstacles. A lot of us are going through wanting to be better, wanting to find more. What we're doing is we're putting our toe in the water of life to see how cold it is. We're not attacking anything. We're going at it half-assed. If you're gonna do something, anything in life, you better attack it. You're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. Yeah, I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I gotta go through this journey that is not fun. This this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. It's not a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive, mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't even know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do, that's your new norm. So then it's like breathing. I don't wanna live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. 
expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. If you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You. decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. There's that one voice, that voice I used to love to hear, that we love to hear, it's that soft motherfucker, that soft motherfucker voice that says, sleep the fuck in, it's okay, it's that calling voice. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night, that whispers in your ear. That says, get up, motherfucker. You're not good enough. You gotta work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you wanna run away from. It's that voice you don't wanna hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. When you get outside of what's familiar, what's comfortable, what feels right, and put yourself in a position beyond your comfort zone, that will give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. Because in order to do something you have never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. We all have greatness within us, but greatness is not our destiny. It is a choice that we have to make consciously. Most people, allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. When you're willing to fail again and again and again, when you make up your mind to become unstoppable, when you make up your mind to become a no matter what person, then that will then give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. Focus.
on the outcome, not on the process. The way that I handle fear is I don't focus on what is it that's terrorizing me. I focus on what is it I want to accomplish. And I see myself achieving the victory. I see myself living from the dream, living from that place that I'm reaching for in my mind. And so we can bypass the things that will cause us to be afraid by looking at and being focused singly on the things that we're going for.